Well, I guess when you've been in the game as long as Aaron Rodgers had and been as good as he's been, the need to please others or follow the rules don't really apply anymore as long as he stays healthy and produces. Two things he couldn't do for the Jets last year, but the good news is Rodgers did report to camp today, and while the QB was not available, some of his teammates were. Aaron Rodgers showed up to camp wearing a shirt with an Egyptian cat on it. It's a reference to Rodgers' notable absence from the team's mandatory practices last month. Rodgers missed minicamp in order to take a previously planned trip to Egypt. Garrett Wilson spoke about his quarterback being back. A guy like that is is great. So, you know, us competitors, us, us you know, athletes, we want to match that. We want to find a way to, to bring that out of ourself. And um, just the way he is, you know, he, he's... He's the type of guy that makes you think at practice, and it's good for us. It's um, it's not like that everywhere, though. It's not always like that with guys. So, so just just knowing what he demands, because it can make us all really hard to stop. And um, and and I feel like you know the standard is is it's been set. We we have a good standard here, but with a guy like that, he just demands greatness. That's all it is. And the Jets really could have used a healthy Rodgers last season. New York ranked last in some major offensive categories. Since Robert Sala took over in 2021, the Jets have the fourth worst record in the NFL at 18 and 33 and rank last in both points per game and total QBR. With more, let's go to Dave Naylor with Kimberly Martin. It is Veteran Report Day, Kimberly, but we did not hear from Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. today. There were four players made available. He wasn't one of them. Are you surprised by that at all? Listen, I'm just glad that Aaron Rodgers is in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, tiny miracles. No, after all the offseason chatter about his trip to Egypt, he's in the building. He's smiling. He wore his little Egyptian cat shirt today. So, no, I was not surprised he didn't talk. I expect tomorrow, Wednesday, he will talk just because that's when you know, quarterback simply talking the NFL. So much buzz around this team and so much of it around Rodgers. And I want to ask you, about a year ago, there seemed to be a lot of momentum, a lot of belief that this Jets team can win a Super Bowl. Fast forward 12 months, they've made some additions. Mm -hmm. It feels like the Jets are more underdog than they were a year ago, that people aren't believing in the reset, the rewind, if you will. And I think that's actually better for Jets fans. I can tell you, I was here a year ago, standing up there for report day, Aaron Rodgers, all the buzz, Hard Knocks cameras were here. So many more reporters were here last year than today because of the Aaron Rodgers buildup, all that hype. And and Aaron, and Robert Sala, the head coach, was talking about how oh, we're the Eagles and you know all the crows are going to be picking at us, trying to take us down. And now everybody just wants to know if Aaron Rodgers can stay healthy. I think that might actually be a good thing for this team. They have. You know, try to shore up the offensive line this offseason. They've added some pass rushers and, you know, they've added some wide receiver help. So they think they are better poised for a much better season. But players tell me we got to keep Aaron upright. One of the holdovers from last season, of course, is Garrett Wilson. He's yes. a thousand yard receiver in each of his first two years mm -hmm. in the National Football League. And given the quarterback play that he's been paired with, that's quite an accomplishment. What do you think his upside is and how do you think he's preparing for a season with Aaron Rodgers? I'm glad you asked me about Garrett Wilson because he's absolutely one of my favorite players on this team, not just because of the talent, but because of the type of young leader he is. And he, I talked to him today about how he felt kind of robbed last year, not getting to, to play with Aaron Rodgers for a full season. We as football fans were robbed of seeing that dynamic duo. But Garrett Wilson told me he spent the off season really focused on trying to get faster, trying to get bigger. He joked, he told me, He's a sturdy 187 now, so uh, he knows he's a smaller guy, his frame is slight, and that really kind of hurt him the first couple years despite the production. Think about just with the quarterback play he's had to this point, that type of production. Now imagine him mm. and a healthy Aaron Rodgers. The, really, the sky is the limit for that offense if those two can stay healthy. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball. Hassan Reddick added, double-digit sack guy comes in from the Eagles. We see all time, all, all kinds of times where a guy mm -hmm. gets into a contract issue, mm -hmm. gets moved somewhere else, they resolve it. It's not resolved, and he's no. not at camp. What do you think happens here? <sighs> he is a difference maker. He is a you know 10-plus sack kind of guy every single year, it seems like. And the fact that he is not here is a big deal. Let me tell you, the Jets did not expect to be in this position with Hassan Reddick. When they made the trade, the conversation, according to sources that I've talked to, the expectation was that they would try to work out, you know, talk about a contract extension, mm. hammer that out. But should they not reach that contract extension agreement, that Hassan Reddick would play under the final year of his contract, and he is not here. He plans to hold out. The Jets 
do not plan on negotiating with a player who's not here. They're open to having more dialogue. But until Hassan Redick is here, I don't know when the stalemate ends. That'll be an interesting thing. So Aaron Rodgers is a big story, but Hassan Redick not being here, an even bigger story. Well, thank you so much for your time. The one thing we can, I think, agree on, it is going to be another very interesting oh, yes. New York Jets season. <laughs>